Back now, let's get into the business of today. In February 2015, the National Pension Commission, PENCOM, took the first step towards revamping the existing framework for the investment of pension fund assets in Nigeria by issuing an exposure draft of proposed amendments to the Regulation on Investment of Pension Fund Assets 2012 for review by various stakeholders. The thrust of the amendment was to expand the asset classes in which pension fund assets under management by pension fund administrators, PFAS, can be invested, as well as the other thresholds, stroke limits of such investment. So, uh, it's about where our money... In other money words, the money that you contribute, mm -hmm. Why where does it go? What can they do with it? while you are waiting to retire How is and get your money back. That, yes. Now, to, uh, joining us this morning is my pleasure to welcome the chairman, Concerned Federal Pensioners Nigeria, Mr. David Adodo. Comrade. Good morning. <laughs> I do apologize. Comrade David <laughs> Adodo, good thank morning. You. And good thank morning. you for joining us. Um, also with us is a financial, financial analyst, Mr. Chooks Onyemachi. Good morning. Good morning and thank you for coming. Thank you. Uh, we just want to say that we did make efforts to get the Pension Transitional Arrangement Directorate to join us this morning, but they are unable to come. So we'll just continue with the guests we have in the studio. Now, let me start with you, Chooks. Now, explain to us very clearly what pension means, because some of us get it mixed up with other things that happen to us when we retire or when we stop working? Okay. When you retire, you are supposed to get monthly inflows from your employer in forms of pensions. But that was under the old arrangement. Okay. Now we have a new arrangement, which is the Contributory Pension Scheme, where you have pension fund administrators that now administer the fund on your behalf while you are still in active service so that by the time you now retire, they will not be the ones paying you pension. So what pension is, is that fund that you get on a monthly basis or on a quarterly basis, depending on your agreement with the PFA, mm -hmm. as in substitution to the current salary that you are receiving. Okay. So that's what pension is. So um, while I am in service, yes. to whom do I pay that contribution? Now, while you are in service, it will be a combination of your contribution and your employer's contribution. Mm -hmm. Now, 8% uh, will be taken from your salary, coming from you, and then 10% will be taken, your employer is going to contribute 10%, yes. make it a total of 18%. Mm -hmm. That will come on a monthly basis, and it will go to the pension fund administrator mm -hmm. on a monthly basis. So they collect this fund on your behalf from your employer, mm -hmm. they invest it for you. Mm -hmm. At the time of your retirement, they will not take the responsibility of making pension payments to you. So your employer will no longer bear that responsibility anymore. The PFAs will not be responsible to make pension payments to you on retirement. Okay. okay. You mentioned 8%. Um, yes. I, I was going through the pension, um, the pension Reform Act 2014, and it's saying 10%, I think, for companies uh, that have... 15, more than 15, or from 15? 15, 15 plus employees. Plus, and yes. then for a company that have uh, three employees and below, 8%. Explain that to us. No, no. What, 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 the, what the Act states is that it is compulsory if you have employees 15 plus. A minimum. A minimum of 15 plus employees. But if you have a below three, that's your employee, your, your staff strength is like three or below. Mm -hmm. Now, the regulation does not make it compulsory for you, but you on your own volition can say, I want my employees to enjoy a better life on retirement. So you can now decide to make contribution, but there is no law compelling you if you don't have a staff strength that is 15 and above. Mm -hmm. So that is where it comes in. Okay. So in that case, can you, not, can you determine on your own what percentage you're going to contribute on your employee's behalf? On your employee's behalf? Yes. In, in what case now? Where you have 15% or 15 or more employees? No, in the case of you have Three less than 15. Less. In the case you have less than 15. And you decide, you actually decide on your on own, your own that you join. want to. Well, the, the, it's not really clear cut, but the expectation is that if you want to comply, then you should comply fully. 
So you so have 10%. to you have to bring the ten percent while you're in place. You bring the eight percent. That's if you have choose if you've chosen to comply. So either you choose to comply fully or you, or, or you not don't at control. all. Yes. There's no middle of the road. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, comrade Adodo, we've heard a lot about pension and pensioners in this country. There's been cases of fraud. And of course, the major problem is that pensioners are not getting paid. Now, you are concerned, a concerned pensioner. Have you been receiving your pensions? Yeah, I have been receiving mine. Mm -hmm. But thousands of pensioners have not been receiving theirs. Okay. And that is where the problem lies. Okay. What is the reason given for this non-payment of pensions to pensioners? No reason was given. No, no reason, no detailed explanation was given for not having your pension. Because we came all the way from the head of service. There were corrupt practices then. Then also he decided to introduce the uh, tax team headed by Abdul Rashid Maina himself. Then uh, we discovered that there were a lot of delays in paying our uh, entitlements. Mm -hmm. The gratuities. Oh, sorry. We just go on a break. When we come back, we'll talk more about those delays and, and what we can do to address them. Just stay with us on Sunrise. Thank you for staying with us. Comrade um, Adodo, you had the floor and you were telling us the bottlenecks militating against you receiving your pensions yes we we have a lot of problems because especially those involved are elderly they are the elderly ones it is something 90 something so they are weak and they did not really know how to go about this problem that was why we formed the group concerned federal pensioners to help the elderly to pursue all, all their problems mm -hmm. while the nigerian union of pensioners have been able to resolve those issues Oh, there's a union of pensioners? There's Nigerian mm -hmm. union of pensioners who are very weak in dealing with those problems. And some of them are elderly too. So we, the young ones, decide, we decided on our own to use somebody who understands the principle of, and the method of approach in getting results. So I was appointed.